Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, Mac believes that every person has an inner light worth shining for the world. And through the Mac Shine On series, we have seen a number of young talents setting out on their journey, whose life story acts as an inspiration to all those around them. Now, one such is John Sinoli. So in 2015, a friend of mine gave me a call and she called me about an audition that was happening for the Born to Perform platform. I remember feeling so nervous and excited at the same time because I either really had to make this work or I was going to go home and hurt Kittle. He really did come from a background of very little. He had had almost no training whatsoever. He was just this raw entity that, that walked into the audition for us and had this incredible voice that we knew that we wanted to do something with. Right when I thought things couldn't get better, Gemma Marinas, who's also the, the director of Born to Perform, then offered me a 100% scholarship to Stagewax Performing Arts School. And that's when I went, hang on, maybe things could actually work out this time. Some of the highlights that came during my time at Stageworks were some awesome productions that I was able to be a part of. Uh, some of them being Gone Too Soon and then being a part of uh, Colette's uh, 25th anniversary party where I got the opportunity to perform with Mick Ayesa, Connell Cruz um, and Kurt Herman. One of the first songs that I'm going to be releasing is a song called I'm Just a Boy, which is a song that really just explains my journey coming from Lesotho and moving here to Johannesburg to pursue my dreams. I'm just a boy with a dream in my heart Just making my way to the start I've got a smile and a song that I can sing I've got a feeling that this could change everything ah. Just a boy, but the voice of an angel. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. What Thank a beautiful you. voice you. you have. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm just so glad it's been discovered. So your journey kind of started because you got a scholarship yeah. with Stageworks in 2016. How did you get that scholarship and what's that journey been like? How did it change your life? Um, so I moved to Johannesburg in 2015. Yeah. Um, I'd come from uh, KZN, I was doing high school there. Yeah. And I came to Johannesburg with actually no plan. <laughs> yeah. So I spent the whole of uh, 2015 just trying to figure out what it is that I wanted to do. Yeah. And towards the end of the year, my mom called me and she said, um, I'm tired of paying for you being in Johannesburg. You don't know what you want to do. <laughs> so come home. For mom. And I couldn't think of going back home. You know, I'd been in Johannesburg for a few months and I was like, I want to live here. Yeah. Um, even though I didn't know what I wanted to do. So she was like, come home. And then um, a friend of mine called me after she called me and she was like, do you still sing? And I was like, yeah, every now and then. And then she was like, you should audition for this Born to Perform show. And I auditioned for that. Um, and I remember singing a John Legend song. I was crusty and I sent through this video. <laughs> and they sent me an email saying that you've got an official audition. I went through for the audition and I got into the show. Um, but after they'd said that I was in the show, they then after that they were like, um, we also want to give you 100% scholarship to the school. So that's, that's when I was like, cool. oh. <laughs> yeah, so that's where it began, yeah. So you sing and write and produce all of your own original music. What's, uh, what's that been like, trying to break into the industry? Um, I think for me it's actually been pretty cool because I haven't allowed myself to be under pressure because yeah. I think a lot of the time we look at other artists and we sort of measure ourselves based on what they're doing. Yeah. And that's something that I used to do before, but not with music, with, um, with rugby, when I was still playing rugby. And I realized that it hinders you from being able to make clear decisions on what it is does. best for you. It does, it breaks your focus. Yeah. The focus becomes that instead of the actual work. Mm, and so I really needed to, to, I constantly remind myself that calm down, calm down, calm down. Like yeah. your time will come, your time will come. Like um, I always thought of, for instance, if I had released uh, a first single and it was like every other pop song that's played, it wouldn't have been very unique and yeah. I thought... And it needs to be unique because yeah. your voice is so unique. So what Thank are your you. goals? What's going to happen? What does your near future look like? Music. Um, I do a lot of uh, writing and yeah. um, dancing as well and so I think that's something that I really want to explore yeah. um, and take to to a completely new level. I look at people like Casper, I look at people like um, yeah. Michael Jackson, Chris Brown, and yeah. I aspire to be like that. So those are the kind of things that I'll be working towards, hopefully, yeah. becoming. 
So yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> Listen, I believe in you. You are so talented, Thank and I so think much. you've got an incredible future ahead of you. Thank you for being here today. Thank you. Thank you. I so wish much. you all of the luck, and we'll be interviewing again when you're on your international tour. Okay? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank so you. incredible. Now a true young talent with a very, very bright future indeed. Coming up next, we finally get to meet the Mac Shine On winner and get a chance to hear him perform this little light of mine. Mac works really hard on tough stains, so you don't have to worry. Oh, Steve! Didn't you say love always leaves a mark? But it does. And yeah, let the real you shine through.